Thank you very much, Gary. Ken, they're into the stretch, coming to the start for the Classics Oaks 1997 final. And they're off. And Ron Wakels immediately puts Wars over out to a short lead. Mombasa wants to tuck up in behind her. Wind be my wings along the inside. Money Maker is still three, four wide in that first turn at the wheel of Financial Page. Wars over quickly to the front, and Mombasa drops to the inside in second. Wind be my wings along the inside third. Money Maker has been feathered out of there by Hennessy. She's fourth on the outside and will now get the word to try to go on to the top. Financial Page is back in fifth. There's the opening quarter in an even 30 seconds. Wars over Mombasa, the front pairing. Money Maker is still on the attack and is going on in earnest now, picking them up on the outside, and Money Maker goes to the lead. Money Maker just ahead of war is over then back in third for Mombasa another length and a quarter win be my wings and financial page money maker made the lead and it is money maker now trying to steal a breather on the front end but she worked mighty hard to take over that position the halftime is 59 and 3 so the second split was 29 and 3 money maker is on the lead money maker now brings him in front of us on the inside second war is over Mombasa is still relaxing back there in third another length and a quarter and win be my wings and three more to financial page on the lead it is money maker with Wars over, content to be following in. Mombasa's been to the inside since the early going. Wind Be My Wings and Financial Page were coming up to the three quarters, and Money Makers getting the respect on the front end. 130, the three quarter split, a third panel of 30 and 2. Into the back stretch, the final time. A mile and 5 sixteenths here, and they move down the back stretch with Money Maker up front, and Wars over has been in for the trip. Mombasa yet to move from third. Another length and a quarter, and Wind Be My Wings and Financial Financial Page has recovered. She was uh, three lengths in arrears there, going to three quarters, but she has closed that gap to be a closer fifth. Money Maker, here comes the mile time, and it's up in two minutes and two fifths. Money Maker goes into the final turn. Up from the three hole, here comes Mombasa. O'Donnell has this one on the attack. Back to third at the inside as war is over, and win be my wings. Campbell brings this one out, coming to the top of the stretch, and three more to Financial Page. Money Maker turns it down the stretch. In the 1997 Classic Oaks Mares Trot Final, Money Maker. Mombasa has come on to be a threatening second. Wars over the inside third. Wind Be My Wings is fourth. Money Maker under modest urging. Mombasa closing in, but it is Money Maker ahead the best. Over Mombasa, then Wars over Wind Be My Wings and Financial Beige. Money Maker, the mile and 5 sixteenths in 236 and 4 fifths. Ken and Gary, she was put to the test at the end. But Wally Hennessy held enough in reserve to get her there. That was Money Maker in what was believed to have been one of her last, maybe her very last, North American Baker. starts. She's Back one of the best you. of all time. And the people that made it happen are with Ken Workington. Ken? I got the winning connections right here. Wally Hennessy and Jimmy Tact are having a great year. But first of all, Wally, this mayor obviously has it all. But uh, the added distance tonight, kind of tricky, wasn't it? Well, you know, none of, these, none of these horses have gone this distance before, so it's all new to them. But uh, she got a little sleepy on me in the front end there, figuring the mile was at a mile. You know, uh, after that, I kind of had to work her a little in the stretch, which uh, that no, ordinarily I wouldn't have to do. Okay, well, here we are down the stretch right here. And a uh, pretty good uh, late threat from Mombasa. Yeah, she was coming there, and, like, probably for the first time, like, you know, I thought that, you know, my mare was all done on the finish. Usually she's, at the wire, she's still pretty strong. But I think the added distance had something to do with that. Okay, Jimmy Tactor, uh, did you train her any different uh, for a race like this? No, I didn't. Uh, we trained her exactly the same uh, as normal, and... Uh and uh, really in this kind of races, it's not so much distance, you know. I, I don't think the field was really 100% tonight. Oh, okay. Well, uh, she just still came up with the effort, uh, the winning effort, but uh, what's in her future? Well, she's planning to fly to Italy next Sunday and race the 1st of November in uh, Milan. Okay, well, good luck with Moneymaker in Italy as she continues to be a, a world-class and a world-class mare and a world traveler. Winning connections, Wally Hennessy and Jimmy Tactor. Back to you, Gary. All right, Ken, thanks so much. Aviator Jacket Night here at Mohawk Raceway. We'll take a look at the official results from the Classic Oaks final. Moneymaker, 240 and 210. No show wagering, by the way.